Now see how a pod creation and its IP allocation actually happens. So what happens is as soon as we create a pod, first the CRI, I mean the container runtime interface, either Docker or container D or whatever CRI you are using, the CRI creates a network namespace for the container or containers with a pause container. So this is a new concept which we are learning right now, pause container. So remember that with every pod, there is a pause container, which is not visible to us normally. Okay. So if we want to see how many pause containers are working, we can check with this command in a node. Okay. PS hyphen EF pipe grip pause. So as soon as a pod has been created, for example, this, uh, if, if this is a node, Okay, so as soon as we create a pod, first of all, a pause container will be created. This pause container actually creates the network namespace for that pod. Okay, so remember this root network namespace is the is the physical NIC network part. Okay, this is the node networking part, and this pod network namespace is the pod networking part. Okay. So before creating the pod, the CRI creates the network namespace for that pod. And uh, to create the network namespace, a pause container has to be created. Okay. Then every other container in the pod joins the existing network namespace created by this container. So for example, let's say now in this pod, I will, I would like to create, let's say two containers, one Nginx and one BusyBox. Okay. Uh, so these nginx and busybox will join this network namespace now okay and finally the cni will assign the ip address and attaches the containers to the network okay so till till this point no ip address has been allocated you can see but once the the containers uh, images are pulled and they are created successfully after that the cni will do this job so what will happen is in case of a single pod, a single container pod, okay, we, we have talked about in the pods, pods can have single containers and can have multiple containers also. So in case of single container pod, what will happen is let's say this is a single container pod with Nginx only. Once the Nginx has been deployed, then the CNI will create a ETH0. Okay, this is an interface in the pod and will allocate an IP address from the allocation pool. And corresponding to this ETH0, a VETH will be created in the node. Okay, so this interface ETH0 will be created in the inside the pod and its corresponding virtual Ethernet interface VETH0 or VETH1 will be created in the node side. Similarly, if it is a multi container pod, then also you can see that single interface has been created and a corresponding VETH um, is created at the node side. As we have already discussed, in case of multi-container pods, same IP will be shared with all the containers, only the port number will be different. Okay, So no matter how many containers you have inside your pod, only one ETH, ETH interface will be created per pod and its corresponding VETH will be created on the node side. Okay, so that's how uh, IP has been allocated and Ethernet interfaces has been created by the CNI. Okay, so you must be thinking what is the reason of this pause container here? So the reason of creating a ne network namespace using this additional container pause container is these containers nginx or busybox they can restart they can delete they can come back again okay but in that case your network namespace should be available even if your containers are restarting or getting deleted so if let's say there is no pause container 
then your network namespace would also be created and deleted again and again. So to avoid that thing, uh, they choose a pause container, okay, which which remains as it is even even when your actual containers gets restarted. Okay, so no matter how many times your actual containers get restarted, your network namespace will be available, keep available by this pause container, and you can attach or detach other containers to this namespace as many times as you want. I mean, not we, the system actually. Okay, so in Linux, the network namespaces are separate, isolated logical spaces. So, namespace is not a new concept. So people who are familiar with Linux should understand this. Okay, so you can consider it as a logical separate space inside uh, inside uh, the node. Okay, and uh, this is like a logical slice of the physical network interface. You can you can consider it like this. So each part can be configured separately with it, with and with its own networking rules and resources. So this is possible because of network namespace, pod network namespace. Let's let's assume that this network namespace, if if it it would not have been here, then you would have to attach every pod with the same physical interface only, and that would be very complicated. So to configure all the pod level networking separately, you need a separate namespace, network namespace, a separate logical space for configure networking of each pod. So that is being provided by pod network namespace. So rules like firewalls, interfaces, virtual or physical routes, everything can be configured on a pod level by the CNI. Okay, um, you utilizing this network namespace. So that's how uh, networking uh, happens inside a pod, and that's how CNI creates and allocates IP addresses and Ethernet interfaces.